I'm just waiting for her to accept. Hello. Oh. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. So, you know what's up. Everybody saw the thing in our story. Basically, how would you describe yourself? Let's start that way. Um, in one sentence or less. Yeah. So, I would describe myself as that weird girl who is always smiling and wearing five different colors all the time and yeah always cheering up nice so why don't you tell people um who you are what position you play how old you are and where you're from uh i'm esther noy i'm from hungary uh i'm playing a uh, middle blocker and um yeah that's it how old are you oh, yeah <laughs> i'm 28 young Uh -huh. And what city are you from in Hungary? I'm from Budapest. Fantastic. All right. So uh, where have you played college? I already said it, but go ahead and say it. And then list your pro teams with countries and levels and even if they were Euro Cup. Uh, yeah. So I was uh, playing in Costa Carolina. And after that, I played a half season in Vosos, uh, Budapest. Then I played in Wiesbaden. We didn't play Euro Cup, but it was a good season. Then after I played in uh, Bekes Chaba, which was uh, playing uh, Euro Cup uh, games also. Hungary. Make sure you give countries. People don't know. Yeah, where. sorry. Yeah. Uh, so Wiesbaden was Germany. And then in Hungary, uh, Bekes Chaba. Then back to Germany uh, here in Wiesbiburg. And this is my second season here. And Wiesbiburg is a city down south close to Munich. Yeah. I So, what is Elite Volley Fam? Uh, I always feel like this is a big support group with all of, not just players, but all of uh, people around. So, of course, like you as the head of it, but as you can always like bring people in, not just like really players right now who are playing, but uh, other mentors or people who are experts in uh, different aspects of life and volleyball. Yeah, so it's like a community. Nice. And why did you choose Elite Volley? Uh, I feel like Elite Volley chose me. <laughs> uh, at the time, I didn't really have options, but uh, I'm really happy. I stayed with you. I stayed with Elite Volley because it's such a, not just a, a, an agency, but really like a, a mentorship, a group, a group of girls together. Uh, really, I, I enjoy it since then. Fantastic. Love having you. Where are you now? Again, you already said it, but why did you choose it? Uh, yes, I'm here in Facebook in Germany as second season. I chose this place uh, first season because I really like the coach and I really like the, the club and the German league is really good. It's a good level, really consistent. Every game is, is a good game. Um, I wanna, I wanted to go up higher with like Champions League or like play higher games, but I really enjoy being here and and I I know that this level is something that I can do every day and I can improve. Of course, it's no no question, uh, but it's for me this is really important that I have a coach who I can work with and who appreciates me a lot. Yeah, and your coach is a Swiss coach. What's his name? Timo Lipune. Awesome. Uh, what's your two season, which includes the rest of this one, goal? Uh, to get better, of course, with volleyball, with every kind of skills that I, I can, because it's just never enough. I feel like my own standards is always higher than everyone else around me. Like, um, yeah, and other than that, just improve in, in, in life, like mentoring or leadership in the team, getting my own mental health, staying consistent with my confidence, with supporting my team so it's really it's really not just about setting and killing balls and and blocking and stuff it's it's all around and partially getting ready for after like yeah i'm 28 uh, but i think it's a a drill for everyone every time okay and this is just your general volleyball goals or this is pro national team it's everywhere this is everywhere because volleyball is my life right now but On the other hand, I will have a life after, and this is not just your life. So you have volleyball as your job, but also you are as a person, you need to grow. So it's, it's both. I, I treat this as both. Awesome. Uh, explain the difference, in your opinion, of playing Euro Cup 
versus league matches. And then if you can add on top of that at the end versus like national team. Uh, I would start with the league matches. Those are, um, it's always, for me, it's a high kind of pressure because it's for us right now, especially like we have to win games. We have to like play well and, and we have to um, give the, the spirit for the fans, for everyone. And uh, when I played back in Bekesh Chaba, we played those um, Euro Cup games. Those were like an extra. And yes, at the time we got teams who were much stronger than we are. So that was an experience of playing such a high level players, like playing against them. Like, let's see what, I, what we can do, what I can do against them, like how they score against us or how I can score against them. And, uh, and these games were always exciting and almost like a, like a next next level in a way it was really good and with the national team that's you are playing for your own nation you are always together with this go with those girls it's kind of like family in a way because you spend all of your summer with them so that's also different and it's also different attitude in a way but at the end it's also just volleyball so <laughs> uh, yeah it's just playing the game awesome how is pro different than college? And why is your agent important in that process? Um, I would say in college, there was a lot of like uh, people taking care of you. You have your athletic trainer. She tells you what to do. She tells you go, to go to rehab. Uh, your coach will, will push you till the end, uh, mostly, or that's how my coach did it. <laughs> and really i didn't have to think too much like what i need to do or what i what i want to do with myself but here uh, in in pro like you cannot wait till people will tell you what to do you have to take it in your hand your health your technique your volleyball everything it's it's like yeah i'm getting injured like and it's because we don't we don't have physio or it's not that good like it's your body you get injured you need to take care of it and you cannot wait till someone will tell you what to do, like what drills or what mobility. You have to go after, figure it out, try it out, and, and go for it. Also with, with technique or volleyball, you see what drill you, you like, you can work on it. Maybe you can tell your coach, you can ask for it. But it's, you cannot just wait. It's not going to move forward. Yeah. And you are now a pro, so what role does your agent have in managing that world for you since you're handling all of those things? Yeah, for me, that was a huge help. Of course, I kind of knew that these things are coming when I go to pro because I played a little bit before also. But uh, like having you, for example, it was also always a big help. If I needed something, I knew I can ask you. So that was the first step that I can ask you. And maybe you can tell me who I who are, who other people I can ask. Or you can just you just told me like, you just got to do what you got to do and, and just pay attention to what your body is saying. And, and this was a, a huge help. And I don't think so if any other agencies are doing it this way, that, that really helping the athletes of uh, taking care of their own self, like their own body and, and working on even technique or, or what is not going good right now. Yeah. Um, all right. So what's expected from you as a pro by your team? And then what are the expectations of me on you as a player? Mm -hmm. um, I would say for the club, of course, they want performance. Like this is professional volleyball. This is your job. So your job is to be there, be consistent, do your job every day. Of course, it, it can depend on the league uh, or, or your coaches or the club, like how tough they are on you. But uh, there are extremes, like if you don't do your job, you get kicked out, that's it. You don't do it, that's it. Um, and as from you, uh, I would say it's just, just to keep working. You need to get your skills right, you need to work hard, you have to have the will to work on it every day. And uh, I would say if you see it or if you feel it, that this is how we work as, as your, athlete, as your um, athletes, I can say that, um, that you are you are satisfied because you also know that it will work at the end. Yeah, it's a process. How is it to work with me as a player? Be honest, and do you use me as a resource? If so, how? I definitely use you as a resource. <laughs> I would say even more sometimes with all of my stuff that's going on around me. But um, 
uh, in the beginning, I had a hard time with all of these tasks that you were giving me, like work on your goals, uh, do your meditation and, and all that stuff that I, it was really like overwhelming me a little bit. But I also knew that you want good for me. So I was keep doing it, even though it was stressing me out so crazy. <laughs> so in that way, it was hard. But as I said, like, this is always something for us, for the players. And this support is unique and I really appreciate it and I value it because I see it that this is really not how it is going around me with other players with other agents so I I like to work with you a lot I appreciate you too sweetheart um it's it's sunny I like to say at this point uh new levels new devils you know when you transition to that next level there's always it's better to go through the tough things that you gonna you're gonna need them in the years to come yeah better to start implementing them right away and it is tough it's not it's no joke <laughs> but i know how tough pro can be so it's better to have it in the rookie years than to have yeah. it in better in years uh how would you describe the goal of elite volley agency for our players and how do we like to work together in terms of how do we balance out uh like to as a goal from a from you from the agency um you just keep saying like, yes, you prepare as a volleyball and you get better, but also um, you, you help us to prepare for life. Not just, not just every day, yeah, go practice, come home for this also, but like really what else you want to be, what else you want to do. Don't stuck with one thing. It's, you are not the volleyball. You are stuff out of it also, which is uh, really important for me. And it was a good eye opener when you first brought it up. And I, I still think this is, how this balance can work in between volleyball and life. Yeah. And then admin wise, I mean, what do we take care of that you should not take care of? Oh yeah, that I don't have to deal with clubs and money and everything. That was, that's a huge thing. Really don't get into it. I try to do it for myself, like in the, back in Hungary, even before I, I got pro and it's huge stress. You don't wanna, get into a, um, a hard conversation with the club owner about money because then you are mad at them, they are mad at you or whatever. It's business. It's not, it's something that I don't know. I know volleyball. I know how to, you know, present volleyball nice or something, but I don't know. I don't know how to deal with money and how to say no for things or how to say yes for things that it's not something that it's in my control. Like, no, I cannot. So I, I'm really, that's a big thing that's, don't do it <laughs> yeah and of course it adds stress whether you're winning or losing somehow it is going to add complications you don't want to do it all right yeah. um what do you like or respect about our agency compared to what you know about other agencies in just like one sentence if you think about it uh one sentence this really this mentorship between each other and within the agency this is huge value huge especially if you are coming from overseas to here to Europe or wherever else doesn't matter you have people around you who are supporting you this is something that you want in your life yeah awesome uh what are common mistakes last two questions you hear rookie pros make with agents and or with jobs that they choose uh with agents I would say they go with the first they found <laughs> maybe um, for me, I had a hard time to look for one who was trustworthy and uh, because if you go, go for a big one, they don't take you serious because maybe you are not that good player and they, they just put you into a team that it's like not that good. So uh, that was, a, that was a, a mistake from me also. I didn't know where to go. I had no idea where to look for. Um, and uh, what was your other question? Sorry. Uh, the last part is like what jobs they choose, like when, what are the mistakes they make when they choose jobs? That you yeah, make? when you choose jobs, when you choose your first places, yes, it's really nice to go to a, a higher level team, but I would recommend to just go maybe and, and find a place where you can really play, just play. And if you have play to a uh, place to play here in Europe, then people will see you, people will uh, find you, and you can get to the next step, to the next step. You don't, wanna, you don't want to jump into it straight. Very key. People will always see what you're doing. And even more so, I don't know if you know that you said that gem, people will find you. 
You know, I always put myself in front of people a lot, but at the end of the day, they will find you when they see that level is what they want, always. So last thing, what's your advice for athletes graduating now in mid-season and those graduating May and June? Thinking back to where you were, what would you have wanted to hear? Yeah. Um, or should you have heard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, like graduating mid-season, this is what I also did. Um, just to go and look for a team. I, I also had a hard time to find one. But even if you cannot, just keep working. Keep working out. Keep keep your head up and just like keep sending your your, your video, everything, everywhere. Like don't give it up even for a second. Um, and if you are preparing to graduate, like um, in the spring then uh, keep working also and that's that's always good you cannot mess that one up and uh, if you can touch some balls anywhere any anywhere like during the off season like uh, american off season then do it or if you i don't know just find a place really to practice and work on things that you need to work on maybe gather your mind like what what things what skills that you can work on as an individual like uh, you don't need anyone else for it and just just go after it one by one awesome well thank you and i will add to that that if you are mid-season don't just look for teams don't just look for the best offers what you think oh that money is better than this money find an agent interview them figure out who is going to take care of you who has a process in mind who can help you set a vision for your career goals on how to get there and who can help you understand why is this team better than this team? Why would I fit into this environment with this type of coach and my personality or my personality and these type of personalities on that court, which matter a lot, especially yeah. the higher and higher level you go, players are going to be there for a while that they respect a lot. And if you don't gel with those players, trust me, you're going to be out pretty quick. So make yeah decisions about agents. If you're doing jobs, make really good decisions about how can I just get on a court where I'm going to have the least amount of stress, where I'm going to play the most and where I can show the most so everybody sees me because half a season is really, really fast and you will pick up that next contract. That's going to be great. Thank you so yeah. much. I really appreciate you. I'm so grateful to have you with the agency. It's been a blessing <laughs> and it's been fun because you're just hilarious sometimes. Thank you so much. All right, Thanks. All the best.